I usually don't like to start off vlogs on a plane, but Osman insisted yes. <laughs> to show the transition between the Philippines and Japan. So with that being said, let's do it. You're good. me or you? You. Oh. <laughs> Japan. Some Japanese candy. We got some Japanese candy because we have our priorities right. And rather than trying to figure out how to get to the hotel, we did this. So there's a couple different flavors. Looks like we got strawberry, grape. It looks like they did surgery on the grape. Look at that. It's kind of crazy. And then uh, apple. So I'm just gonna go for the uh, strawberry. And this is the first one I got. In my impressions and Austin's impressions. Let's see it. <laughs> oh man. That's so annoying. I'll just go for this. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's okay. Tastes the same as the one that it's I had on Yeah, this is the high chew. Oh, it is a high chew. Why are we filming this? It's just a high chew. <laughs> we just pulled up to uh, Japan, Shibuya. And uh, we're grabbing some some dinner. We, we landed like what, like two hours ago? We took an hour long train ride. We just got here. We've been walking around, grabbing the first place we stopped by. That looks decent. Looks real decent. You got a raw egg with rice. I've never seen just a yolk. We got these really sour drinks and they're super sour. What'd you think? Sour. <laughs> like the most sour drink I've ever had in my entire life. It's probably the most sour thing I've ever had. <laughs> What's up guys? So we are in Tokyo today, which is crazy. I've been wanting to come back to Tokyo for years. We're finally here. And on this trip, we're gonna do a lot of sneaker shopping and I guess just walking around the city and seeing what's good. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so a couple takeaways from so far our experience as far as the trains. First of all, no one says anything. It's very, very quiet. It's like dead silent on the train. Andrew, if you want to throw in a clip of that. Um, and then secondly, there's these chimes at every station, which are different for every station. They're actually done by this guy. There's still a YouTube documentary. It's sick. Check it out, but really cool. So good first. 30, 40 minutes of the day. It's very cold, yeah. Well, you didn't bring a sweatshirt. Well, so I'll be down to try McDonald's here. Fill you in on a quick conversation. Austin's gonna order one of everything he's never seen before at McDonald's and said he's gonna waste a lot of food. I don't know, see, Except I don't know. That's gonna order a Big Mac, he said, and <laughs> so boring. <laughs> we'll see what's up, we'll see what's up. So there's a Samurai Mac, there's... This one has like salt on it. Always kind of crazy. I don't even know what that is. So no go on the McDonald's. Yeah, maybe for lunch we'll come back. I'll, I'll be honest. The only thing that looked different was the samurai. Oh, well, there's like that juicy burger. Oh, uh, okay. There was that shrimp burger. Oh, uh, I don't know if I tried McDonald's shrimp burger. Huh. So we made it to Harajuku. We're gonna do some shopping, try and find some sneakers, try and find some cool stuff. And uh, but first, we need coffee because we've been having like a. It's been a long day of. Shopping for anime figures. We didn't buy, uh, he bought one, but I'm not gonna tell you about it. Okay, so we can't see a giant New Balance store and not go to a giant New Balance store. And it's Gray Day 2023, dog. Yeah. You know anything about Gray New Balances? I it's Gray Day. Gray balances. Well, this is your day. It's Gray Day. I bought the Salehis, but I think you sold them and whatnot. <laughs> we got some big boys right here. Super, super thick foam in the midsole. I actually never tried these. A whole bunch of them, too. Bunch of 5740s. I didn't know they still made these. They released last year in like a cool colorway and then they stopped. The Kawhi 3s. Very nice. I actually haven't seen these in person yet. I didn't even know these dropped, I'll be honest with you. And actually, very fittingly today on foot, I've got the ALD 1906s in this crazy New Balance store. Here's some pretty clean colorways. I like those. We've got a bunch of 1906s and these other pretty clean colorways. These a lot. These are very, very clean. Got a bunch of 550s as well. These are super clean. You can definitely see the Teddy Santa's vibe in the store. It's pretty uh, pretty apparent, especially in this corner. So I just scanned my feet. It turns out I am a size nine, which I was hoping would be the case because all my shoes are size nine. I have a uh, medium foot. I always thought I was more on the narrow side, but apparently I'm straight up medium. I have a really high arch, which I knew, but it was cool to get like a 3D scan of my foot. I should have filmed some of the process, but it was really cool. Oh, they got the, dude, they got the babes. They got the babe, Adidas. Okay. Can't believe they have these. They might not have them, they might just be on display, but these literally just dropped. That's nuts. I might actually have to grab a pair of these. So they got these really nice NMDs, NMDS1s, 
Yeah, this white pair and then this black pair. This other white pair. I don't know if you guys can hear me. And then these actually really clean collabos right here. I like these a lot. And also, I'm just noticing now, the 420s. But with everything pulled off. That's crazy. I never thought I'd see these with all the stuff off. No, get the salmons, dude. Salmons are popping right now. They really are. I know. That hiking pair that I had at, um, in Hawaii with Salmons. Yeah, you should cop. I don't think I'd worry about it. How much is it? 70, like 100 bucks. 70. I'm like... I think you should do it. It's like super Japanese. Yeah, that'd be cool. I like this Japanese brand. Oh man, I forgot they brought these back. I could have left these in the vault. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know you were taking a shot. I didn't know you were taking a shot. I thought you were walking in my shot. Okay, so that store was pretty cool. They had a lot of Jordans sitting there, all retail, which is awesome. A lot of really good shoes, like the Reimagined 3s and stuff like that. Um, it was odd though, because it was like specifically only a Jordan retailer, but they weren't like a Jordan brand store or a Nike store. It's kind of wild. So definitely check out Tokyo 23 if you guys are here. A lot of good stuff, especially in women's sizes, men's sizes, so pretty decent selection. Checking out the drink selection. We've got a crazy monster, monster watermelon. And then we also got Lifeguard. Look at this. It's the most Japanese drink I've ever seen. It's crazy. What you getting? most insane second street I've ever been to in my entire life. I've never seen anything like it. So many shoes. 39. Crazy. But these guys too. A 39? These ones, I don't know what these ones are. 59. 59? The... I got these too. These are my size too, us. Yeah, but it's not the supreme one. I'm gonna get, but if I, these are like brand new. These are legit brand new, eight and a half. For what, 32.9? What is it, how much? 32.9. I can't believe how nuts the second street is. It's got everything, like so much stuff. I mean, look at this. You got brand new Jordan 185s. You got We The Best. You got the twos. You got Nike Dunk UNCs for how much? 30, no, for 39? What? That's, that's insane. You got the unions. new uh noctis they sold out in the u.s really yeah i want to like them yeah i'll just say that <laughs> <laughs> there's so many dunks these is pretty clean you got the satins which are also very clean got these wood grain looking ones it's crazy and pandas i really like these so these are nuts and these are clean too we already looked at these but these are really nice i like these a lot i don't even know what these are Huh, very, very clean. Got some foams. Very nice, and some Levens too, wow. I'm kind of surprised to see these sitting. Maybe it's just Japanese market doesn't want them, I don't know. But good size, it looks like. I don't drink soda anymore. It's like homemade, so it's not the same. It's not the same? Is that serious? It's not the same? It's just like seltzer water with a cool flavor. All right, I'll do it. Sip. First sip, this is an awkward angle, but we're going for it. What's up? I mix it, bro. How do you mix it? It's really good. Really good. It doesn't taste like soda. It tastes like, um... Cinnamony. Yeah, cinnamony. Yeah, um, absolutely. Cinnamon. Cardamom. I'm sure there's, like, cola root. I don't know what that tastes like. Probably this. <laughs> but it's good. It's yeah, lemony. It's, it's lemon. It's good. Super lemon. StockX store. In Japan, which is kind of crazy. Or I guess in uh, Harajuku. It might be one of the situations where like you drop off shoes here or something. That's kind of crazy. So that StockX store was kind of like a, I guess you could drop off your shoes there, but they also had shoes for sale. So that was kind of interesting. That was wild. You getting your water from right there? Order your sushi right here. Oh, this tea? Oh, no way. 
Oh, there is some, someone's food. That's pretty wild, dog. That's a lot of good stuff you got. How is it? Out of 10? What's up? Okay, all right, all right, all right. So Aspen ordered a bunch of individual stuff and it keeps showing up and it keeps running out of room. <laughs> There's so much stuff. <laughs> so you ordered so much individual stuff. Round two, let's go. Let us go. Damn, all that individual ordering, man. You got basically the same amount that I got. <laughs> like, I had two plates and you had like, cause you got the, all the individuals. That was dope. That was all dope.